Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to my Sky Factory Island here over the void. Let's get out of F5 mode. We've got a lot of stuff to do, and I've got a lot of progress to show you. So, first things first, we're going to take a tour about. Not much has changed here. I do occasionally get an extra one of those. But uh, what I've done here is I found, or I made a key. And I've locked everything, so I can just come in and empty out each of these drawers. And then it's still, the storage drawer itself will keep the item in here and, and continue to move items in as, as they come in to the controller there in the middle. So uh, I can completely remove stuff and I don't have to keep just one item in there. So uh, let's put this zombie head over here. And we'll put my armor back on. And there we go. Okay, so first things first, I have discovered off camera that you can do something with these bags right here. These common loot bags, you see that? If you take four of them and put them in like so in your crafting grid, you can actually increase that to an uncommon loot bag. And likewise, you can do uncommon to rare, rare to epic, and then epic to legendary and you can see that I've been doing that here we've got a bunch of legendary loot bags right here and we're going to get all of them because I am going to open all legendary loot bags with you on camera I'm not going to open all the rest of them because well, they are rather common that's their name so I don't uh, I was getting too many of them I have that maxed out at keeping 96 in the system and then voiding all the rest it was just getting too much, too much. Uh, but I got tired of doing that crafting. And so I found something else. Let's take a look over here. I'm going to show you the recipe, but I've already done it. Okay, I've already made this thing. It's the compactor. It comes from a mod called the at or the compactor mod. And I think that the compactor mod only has one block in it. Well, two that's the creative cobble generator we can't get that in survival so the only one we can really do is here compactor four pistons a crafting bench crafting table and some redstone so it's not too terribly expensive it requires a little bit of power and then here it is right here so what you do is you put in anything that can be crafted into a two by two or a three by three and you see it just going to town right there Let's do this. We won't have any more, but if we throw in this rare loot bag, you see now that we've reduced that down, compacted it down to an epic loot bag. So there we go. So now once I get another common loot bag, we'll end up with a rare loot bag like so. So let's take a look here. Um, that's Lumium, it's not bad. Octatic capacitor, very good. In fact, I've got a use for this immediately there we go okay so that's going to set the generators to going i'm going to get away while they do their thing another division sigil meh delighted meal what's that do i don't know bedrock you mean get excellent that's going to give me slowness got some more lumium so every time you're carrying bedrockium you're going to be stuck with slowness just to give you a heads up there got some diamond leggings some more diamond leggings very good lamb with mint sauce wow look at that this is good meals here i've been living off of apple juice for the uh for the time being diamond chest plate crimson cult hood that is deep into thalmcraft which i don't know that we're going to do mana pearl another octatic capacitor another crimson cult robe these are legendary items indeed wither skeleton skull that is good for stuff that we have coming up in the future i might be able to go uh, yeah no don't want chance cubes get the chest plate there crimson cult chest plate so yeah wow so they're not kidding with this being uh being legendary awesome awesome oh man we got to get rid of that bedrockium ingot immediately let's go here goodbye thank you thank you oh man 
I got so much stuff to put away now. Not good. Not good. I did not need to deal with this at this point. Uh, let's just find some sort of junk chest somewhere. And we'll throw all that in. There we go. Okay. I'll take care of all of that off camera. But for now, we're just going to throw it uh, right here. Yes, 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 yes. Go, go, go. Bye, bye, bye. And okay. Now, uh, the next thing. The next thing that we've got to do is, well, it's going to be in support of the project today we're going to be doing some tinkers construct in particular we're building a smeltery i believe that's on our list in the achievement book uh, the achievement book is over there we'll go take a look at that in just a moment but the reason i wanted to get that going is because we've got all of these dusts coming in from ex nihilo and well if you take one of these dusts and throw it into a smeltery you can get double the ore production and so that's why I got this whole thing set up like we were going to do today. The problem is that, um, well, we've got this pulverizer right here. And when I first started Sky Factory, I tried putting these dusts into the pulverizer and it did not take. So the ore dictionary was messed up. But we're now in 2.5.2. And if you take a look here, the pulverizer from Thermal Foundation now works with the ex nihilo ore dusts and so we get double the output for our input so it's not that big of a deal for the smeltery for the time being but we do need it to make some of the more advanced tools now to that end as i sleep let me show you something that i put together off camera i've got this stone pickaxe it's got a bone handle and it's a stone stone head paper on the binding and what I did since we've got iguanas tweaks in if you continue using the tool over and over again you're going to build up experience on the tool so I've been doing that here notice that we're currently at the heroic skill level we need about 200 some odd more on the XP to go to the next skill level which I believe is godlike after heroic i can't remember anyway it's a lot easier to do the stone pickaxe i just made this huge tower of cobble and then used vein miner and knocked the whole thing down over and over again and so that built that up pretty quickly you can see what we've got on it we got auto repair 2 on it i did put a diamond on it to increase the durability so that's that's on me but it added redstone and lapis and we still have six modifiers to go so we're going to increase the redstone probably take this all the way up to the 450 on the lapis who knows i don't know we'll see we'll see but certainly more haste would be good and then what we're going to do today is try and switch out one of these parts so if we come over here to the stone age tab we're going to make the sm tinker's construct smeltery and then we're going to upgrade a tool part or a tool with a metal part. So we're going to change out. I want to change out the handle and then I want to change out the uh, stone pickaxe head. So we'll see about that. Next thing is up here. You can see that I've done a lot of work. OK, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for doing that. Sort of. The reason why is that I was watching a mod spotlight on the magical crops mod and i was also watching my friend confound it play this pack and he said get the zavisio ho as quickly as possible we're currently at imperio but let's take a look at the recipe for this okay the imperio ho requires imperio essence and a crucio ho and that just follows on down crucio essence accio ho and then accio essence and a diamond ho the Accio Essence, you need four Manicio Essence for one Accio. So four to one all the way up. Okay, so that means that to even get to this level that I've got right here, that's four Crucio, which is four Accio, which is four Manicio. I, what are we up to? Like 64 at this point? 64 Manicio just to get one Imperial Essence. We're doing a lot of grinding. Okay, let's take a look at the Zavisio Ho. 
and these visio essence and it's hard for me to keep saying that so right here the reason why you want this is you get eight extra essence from the Minicio crops so that's good we're currently at four but uh, again that's another level of four to one okay and you need this extreme infusion stone and look at that so I've got the glowstone essence going I've got obsidian essence going I've got a strong infusion stone but we need some unstable ingots and another star so we've got a little bit to go and you can tell based on the four to one reduction rate this is a grindy mod so I had to get it started so sorry for not bringing you along I didn't figure you wanted to see all of that we will get into more magical crops next episode for now we're going to put this away okay next up uh, last time we were together I built this entire farming area and I built or I set out this grass area to try and get some regular mobs going some passive mobs and then uh, something that I ran into in my single player world is that I did not take into account the biome let's come up here we are in a standard world we're not in the Garden of Glass or anything like that. We're in a standard world, which means that the biomes are still valid. Okay, so if you take a look in the mini-map right there, and if we pull up F3, we might be able to see it. Can you see it? Yes. Okay, so let's go, let's turn off F3. I'm going to go into tab, and it looks like OBS is capturing my cursor. Look at that biome right there. We're in an ocean biome. I did this in my single player world and then read that um, passive mobs do not spawn in the ocean. Yep, so I built a passive mob spawner in an ocean biome. So the only thing that has shown up here are these Moo Fluid cows. It's from, yeah, Moo Fluid's mod. We got Fluid Cow. This one contains Molten Ardite, which is going to be very useful. So let's just grab that. So we got some Molten Ardite. Then we've got some Molten Cobalt. And how often can you do that? So there's a countdown. So we've got a few ticks to go. Energized Glowstone, that's pretty cool. Molten Terra Steel, so this is great. Now I don't have to go through all the grindiness of early game Batania. So I can just come in here and get some, uh, get some Terra Steel. So we've got pretty good sets of Move Fluids Cows. We've got lava coming in elsewhere. Molten Man of Steel, also from Batania. And how about this guy? Red Arum. I have no idea what Red Arum is about. Oh. And then how about here? Molten Silver, Energized Glowstone. Anyway, the Ardite and the Cobalt are going to be very good for our upcoming piece. So for now, let's see. I'm going to come back and get some Cobalt later. We've got a few ticks before that one resets. So, because I still need some passive mobs automatically going, I built a new passive mob spawner. But because those cows were so good, I didn't want to get rid of them. So, I'd already hit the mob cap. So, um, yeah, there is something in X Neolo called bait that you can make. And I'm going to grab these golden lassos here because it's pretty pretty annoying so here's the bait for sheep okay it's just wheat and some grass seed and if you take a look at the pig bait let's look here just two carrots so not too bad it's a little some well it's from the x compressor mod it's not the x neolo but we'll come over here to my other grass area and i hope that we have enough time to get to the tinker's construct let's come up here you can see i've already spawned in through the bait, so a pig and two cows. And we'll take a look here at, let's see, at X Compressum. Yeah, so here we go, sheep bait, cow bait. It's pretty simple, two pieces of wheat. And what you do is you take the wheat, or your, your bait, and put it on the ground. And now look here, we've got an error message. Animals are shy, there's too many of them here. So what we're gonna do is actually grab this guy and Mr. Piggy and this cow over here. Let's grab that. And golden lassos, those are 
really easy to use for uh, moving animals around. And what I want to do is also put out the sheep bait. We'll do that here and we'll do this right here. Okay, so now those baits are down. We have to move out of the area and you have to have water and you can't have too many mobs around. You can't have too much bait going in one area. So now we'll just wait for, there we go. So we got a sheep that showed up already and any others? Yeah, so yeah, we can go in and check and let's just look at what that sheep bait did. There we go, a little a little baby sheep. So we're gonna just let that do its magic and we'll come back later and put our original cows and pig out there as well. And then we're going to get into actually making this, uh, this Tinker's Constructs Meltery. So we're going for about 16 minutes. We don't have too much time, so we're probably not going to get around to replacing the parts or at least making the tool that I wanted to make. But uh, let's just get this going real quick, like so, and we'll get that. Okay, I've already got this marked out, and you'll see why in just a moment. But let's put out our base, a 3x3 three three for the smeltery. This is a multi-block structure that requires special, it's a special setup. We're going to put our tank right there. That's exactly what I wanted to happen right there. Uh, you know what? Let's grab you and we'll put you right here. So it's still going to attach. So that means that because of our crucible lava generators here, we're going to keep our smeltery always loaded. We want, we want this. Okay. So we don't need those for the time being. We just need our main blocks. We'll come around here and build this whole thing up like this. If you haven't seen how to do a smeltery, I've got a tutorial for that. It's really basic. It's it's one of the early game things you can get going so that you can have um, early game, uh, what's the word, or doubling and uh, Anyway, it's, it's good for some really, really nice tools. And and yeah, so I would suggest it and get that going pretty early. Okay, so because we see that the smeltery controller is doing this animation, we know that this thing has worked correctly. And so we can actually take, let's put some, um, how about shiny metal and Maybe we'll put, uh, no, no shiny. Let's just put an iron ore dust in there to see what happens, okay? So we'll do this and this, okay? And then we'll put on our seared faucet. And then right here, we can put in our table like that and like that. So that's smelting up right now, which is a good thing. And then, well, what we can do is maybe make our tool forge. What do I, need? I didn't need that chest that, that I know of. Okay. And we'll make this and this. We'll turn both of those into that type of chest. And then we'll take the blank pattern and the crafting station to make a tool station. And then what we can do is go like this and like this. And now we've got a tool forge, which we can use to craft some of the more interesting tools. Okay. So this is a good thing where we're progressing fairly well. What I want to do is make sure that we don't get any spawns on top of or in the smeltery. We should be good to go there. And let's take a look. Okay, so we've got some molten iron sitting in our smeltery. If I had a cast for it, then we'd be fine. But, you know, for now, we don't. So, uh, you know, we've been going about 20 minutes. I'm not going to actually have time to get 
going on the next piece. So uh, that was a lot of, of um, you know, what's the word? A little bit of a progress report. We've done a lot off camera. You can see in the days past, I've done a lot of AFK, just getting those magical crops going and being able to spread those Manicio crops. So a lot of stuff going on, a lot of, a lot of AFK there. So uh, lots of progress to show. So maybe next time we will get into more in-depth Tinker's smeltery stuff, including updating my pick and uh, let's see, maybe, well, we need to make a cleaver because we need eventually to get a nether star. So let's go back to the Zavisio Ho. Uh, so next episode is going to be more tinkers. Then the one after that is going to be more of the advanced uh, of this crop here. So we need another star, which means we need to go to the nether, get some wither skeleton skulls and fight the wither and and see if we can get something growing in terms of our uh, magical crops. So anyway, that's going to be it for now, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, a like is always appreciated. And if you haven't done so already, think about subscribing so that you are up to date with everything going on on the channel. So join me next time for more Tinker stuff. And then after that, we'll get into more of the magical crops and we'll go from there. That's it for now. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.